on the way here, and I saw something you would never see here. You would never see it. Check this out. It was a bumper sticker. This is what it said in black and white. Get ready for this. All it said, it's a bit direct, it's a bit confrontational. This is what it said. It said, abortion equal sign holocaust. <laughs> that was it. Some of you guys are giggling. You're in good spirits. That's good. <laughs> I was angry when I saw it, I was angry. It said abortion equals sign Holocaust. I was like, come on. It is a woman's right to choose whether or not she wants to give birth to six million Jews. <laughs> That's a shitload of Jews, you guys, seriously. Do the math, six million? That is really hard work on the Vajim Jam, guys. Really hard work. All right, this is good. I like to throw that joke out early. I call it the abortion holocaust joke. <laughs> I just like to know who's on board. What are we doing? Where can we go? What's gonna happen from here? I don't like it when people like invoke the holocaust just about stuff they don't like. I have a friend that said to me, she goes, I believe in women's rights and everything, but I'm not a feminazi. Not a feminazi. Have you guys heard this before? Feminazi? It's like, really? Wow, feminazi? That is so degrading to feminists. It's just so degrading to Nazis. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why would you put those two ideologies together? They're very different. You can't just mash up anything you want and call it a thing. What's a feminazi? Like, oh no, the feminazis have invaded Poland and now the whole country is just singing folk songs and sewing their own menstrual pads. Oh no. <laughs> What's a feminazi? What is that? Oh no, the feminazis are terrifying the nation with their resounding cries of Heil Klittler. Oh no. <laughs> Heil Klittler, you guys, I just said that. <laughs> yes, yes, I thought of that one day. I thought of that one day. I wrote it down on a piece of paper. I looked at that paper and I thought, good work. <laughs> Take the rest of the afternoon off, Deanne. <laughs> Enjoy, you've solved comedy, it's over now. It's over. Take a walk, eat a muffin, enjoy your tiny victories. <laughs> I'm, you know what, I'm pretending to be more proud of that than I actually am. I'm a little bit proud of having thought of it. I'm also horrified by having thought of it. Do you guys know that feeling of pride and horror? They can coexist. It's like the same feeling you get when you take a really big dump. <laughs> that feeling? You're just like, ew. But then you're like, hey, I made that. That came from me. You guys are great. People get nervous. People get nervous sometimes if I talk about feminism a little bit and I can feel it. They go like, oh no, she's talking about feminism. Is she just gonna spout rape statistics at us? Oh no, it's like, no, I'm gonna deliver you safely to a poop joke. Don't worry about it. <laughs> You're in the hands of a professional. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. I wish, guys, I wish that I had more confidence sometimes. It's really important in comedy. And I work with all these like super confident dudes all the time. Like you've seen these guys, just too much confidence. The kind of guys who get on stage, they get everybody on board with the premise that doesn't even make sense just because they're confident. You've seen this kind of comedy before. A guy gets on stage and he's like, hey guys, guys, hey guys. You know when you're hungry? You guys know the feeling, right? You know when you're hungry and you need mustard? You know the feeling, right? You're hungry, you need mustard, what's the problem? Where's the mustard, all the way over there? Oh no. Oh no, what do we do guys? We all do the same things, don't we? We get the walk. I get the walk, you get the walk. You know the walk, you're hungry. You need mustard, the mustard's over there. You're like, gotta get the mustard! <laughs> no! No, that's not a thing that happens. That's not a thing that's ever happened to anyone ever. I watch these guys and I just watch the whole crowd go crazy. Like they're mesmerized. I don't know what they're thinking. They're just kind of there like, yeah, Mustard, you're a man. I don't know. 
Oh, I wish I was like that. I would love to do something. Like, if I had more confidence, I would love to have a catchphrase. How amazing would it be to be a comedian with a catchphrase? It'd be so cool. It's the sort of thing you need a lot of confidence to pull off, though. I'm working on one. You guys are nice, so I'm working on a catchphrase, and I do need to work it in to conversation. Can you answer a question? Yeah. Okay, great. So this is a catchphrase I hope to use one day when I have more confidence so I can be like my male peers. I'm super excited about it. All right, so here we go. Um, what, do you, what, do you, what do you do for a living? Tell it to my mom! Just a little something that I'm working on, you guys, that I think one day when I have confidence, that's gonna be great. Thank you guys so much.